Hey, what's up? This is your boy ITYC here, pulling it down for another episode of Live from the Merch Shop. And today I have with me the man, Pisa. What? Blood! <laughs> the guy, Pisa, man in the building. I go on, soldier. Well, you know, I'm here locking it down on the ones and twos, just getting ready for, you know, so the whole carnival back and all and soak a tent business. Still got a couple more songs to release. But in the meantime, between time, just pushing blood, you know, so it's all about the groovy, so come and out. Sugar Mass 44, live and direct. Yeah, so I met Mr. Pisa Man, but we go way back. We're from Espia. Yeah, but I went to the Soka Ten on Tuesday night, the second Soka Ten, then I met Mr. Pisa Man at the bar. You know, and he came up and he said, Man, you gotta bring me alive from the merch shop. And I said, Yeah, man, I'm bringing you to you. So good to see he really came to here, even though he come a bit late, but still vibes because he said he came straight from the studio. So we're just billing, we're just billing. So tell us, which, well, not tell us, because I just said it. We're from SP. We're the best, we don't forget that. Hub, 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 and he said, from now on, I'm no longer Wayne Philip. Since I'm forcing man for the rest of the course, I'm to report. Every time I'm to report to him or any other instructor on the course, number 382, Constable Pisa Man. So that's how I get the name, Pisa Man, you know. And since then, he, he stuck. I mean, I grew up all my years, my life in Standing Point. Never had a nickname till I joined the police force. And that's when I get Pisa Man in the police force, you know. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So, you yeah, also. There's a barber. Back in back in am I correct? Yeah, back in the days, yeah, I was a, a barber, you know, I grew up and I mean my dad like my dad used to always cut his friends them here and stuff and you know they cut and they party, drink the alcohol. And you know, this day my dad decided, look, I'm tired of cutting here and you here at the age go cut here, I wanna party with my friends. Instead of cutting the here and still drinking, I just wanna drink. He said, You got a loan to cut here and he teach me to cut here, you know, my dad from Nevis, old school barber. And that's how I get into into cutting here, you know. I went to Trinidad and of course, come back, open my own barber shop. And they got some of the barbers around saying kids. I teach a couple of them how to cut and stuff like that. You know, I, I love I love cutting. Even now, I still do cut. I cut here like for Christoph Barber sometimes for Marriott. A lot of big shots here and so then you go to the home on Sundays, Saturdays and make the money. Uh, I still love to cut. It's one of my passion, you know. Yeah, I remember seeing you at Nanton barber shop cutting. Yeah, after I closed on mine, you know, I went and I started working there with, with Nanton there at um, Pan Road there and the barber shop. And, you know, I leave them guys because I decided, you know, I want to do much more, get involved into hosting and start doing like, you know, promoting events and stuff like that. And, you know, I just decided, you know, I was hosting So Come Arc one year. And I said, you know, I could do this. I said, I've been writing all the time, you know, one year write a song there. And when we used to go bashment in Sunny Point and all, all the stuff like Oliver Twist. You know, that was that was my thing there, the one with small axe push and stuff like that. And I said, you know, let me try your writing. And I, and I try, you know, call a friend out of um, Dominica from Chipoke, go by the name of Kendall, and he sent me a beat. And that's when I come up with Onion Batty, you know. And I tell him I want to do something for, for power to, and he sent me a next beat. And you know, we had a one Onion Batty, and then I had Bacchanal Bumper. I just start from there. And then last year, I did, you know, Alcohol, A L C O H O L. And then everybody tells me, well, you need to come with a part two, the alcohol. And this year, I say, you know, I'm going all out. So I decide this year I'm going to do four songs. It's so unfortunate that I'm not really going to get to do the one and your brother beat the stickle drum with him. But, you know, I, I give you a piece of well ago and, you know, I'm ready for that. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you touch, you touch, you touch on all of, you touch on, you touch on all of. I, I, I heard you made mention of the Oliver Twist. Yeah, I remember that back in the days, you on DJ Benji. That, that was a real, for, for you folks out there who don't know, Oliver Twist Rhythm was one of the hottest rhythm that ever came out of St. Kitts. He really run the place. Yeah, man, that was me and Big D, Dale, Cole Charles, you know, we, 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 we wrote that and we give it to Small Axe, you know. That was one of the big hit on the Small Axe album that year, you know, Oliver Twist, can you do if so, do so. Girl touch, bend down, touch your knees, touch your toe, you know, you know, you know the thing. Bashment production. <laughs> so, who had created the rhythm, by the way? Well, actually, the reading that was created by, um, I think it was, was Phil. 
Phil and um, Phil, Phil and Bushy, and then you know we start pushing it. Cause back in the days, you know we used to get the bashment at Pump Bay, all DJs, DJ Abbott, and everybody. And then we start, and then I come up with the chant, Oliver Twist, can you do this? If so, you know, Flacka Dog, got to big up the man, Flacka Dog, there was inspirational and that too. And that's where he hit her from, you know, the, the, the bashment, and that's when man really, really start to get into the, the music, the vibes of it and stuff like that, you know. And I just thank, I thank God for the bashment that I read this far in music, you know. Yeah, the, yeah, the bashman was was a, a great wave back then in Sunnyfair every Sunday. Pump bay, you gotta go live and drink. <laughs> live and lively, you know, live and lively. I remember he had a he had a Sunday, man, we just got a big sponsorship from from Rams. The time Rams was dealing with with Heineken. They give us fifty two cases of Heineken and this Sunday, a lot of rain started to fall, man. A lot of rain and them guys were like, oh, we gonna put off this. I said, but no, we gonna put it off, that's blessing. And we, you know, every time the rain ease up, we start heading down instruments, heading down instruments, heading down this, heading down that. And by the afternoon, the rain stopped. And that was one of the biggest bashments we ever had in Sunny Point. Yeah, one of the biggest bashments we ever had. Yeah, well, nice, nice, nice. So, you you made mention of some of your hits that, that you, you, you put out, right? You recently put out the new one, Blood. Yeah, but, well, me myself, at first, when you sent me the song, I had it wrong. I had alcohol blood. And you said, nah, it's just blood. It's, it's just blood. Had me puzzled for a minute. And you said, ask about it. Don't worry, so content. <laughs> you know, um, you want to tell us what, the, the whole story behind the new the new single, which is blood. Well, the whole story behind the new single, you know, it's just like, basically, it's like two meanings, you know. You have a what if meaning, like saying, you know, you have some people like myself. I've been drinking alcohol a long time, so long, 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 long time. I have people like before me who have been drinking. You have them guys up on the Berry Road in Newtown, they got, I think they call the rum office. I mean, them guys been drinking so long. So what if them guys don't have blood no more running through the veins? They have alcohol now. And if they get sick and go to the doctor, the doctor find a trace of blood. You know, the doctor going to tell them, look, the reason why you're sick because you got too much blood in your alcohol. So you got to drink more to get the blood out. You know? Sometimes you stop a guy from drinking and tomorrow you're looking for him, you hear that announcement because you stop him from where he, he accustomed to do every day, drink. And then the, the other one now is like to say, I give it a twist. You know, everybody say, oh, you got too much, too much alcohol in your blood. So I just give it a twist. You know, you call like in, 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 um, in the artist farm, you call great resort. So I just say, let me give it a twist. You know, get everybody thinking instead of going straight forward and do everybody gonna look out for you to say they got too much alcohol in the blood. So let me just put too much blood in the alcohol. Let's see what people could think. And that's and that's what I did, you know. Let's keep people guessing and thinking, you know, and just be up there, you know, following this song. Most of them who ain't get it, they request it more. So they get to love it more, you know. That's the whole idea behind the blood, you know. Yeah, at, at, well at first when, when I when I heard this song, I was like, what this kind of story, peace of man bring it. And then when I came to the second soccer tent, and you actually went and performed it, which was one of the best performances in the tent. <laughs> I ain't going to tell the lie. You really put it down on stage. When, when you hear it live, you bring a whole vibes to the, to the song. And I guess even if you're drinking, yeah, you, you, just, you get a whole vibes. Yeah, for real. I, uh, at, the, I just, at the second soccer tent, when I finished performing, um, I went out first and they called me back up again and again to perform and then everybody was there and in the performance and after i finished the second performance and stuff like that and i went to the bar like some ladies were the only didn't even know into like soca music they were like boy i ain't know it's so powerful your song is never here you do it live you know it it hit me and i like it you know i just i just like how you just put it over and stuff like that and even a guy was there from barbados and stuff and he said man look he said that's a real powerful song, man. I got to tell them guys, bring your Barbados to do that down there. I just like the whole concept. Too much blood in your alcohol. It's witty and it's still groovy and, and sexy, you know. And, you know, and I'm glad that everybody coming out to the Soka tents and loving the Soka tents. I mean, the second one was Abbey Hook. I got to big up all the Soka artists them this year. I mean, trust me, right now we on top of the Caribbean charts in terms of Soka music this year for Sugar Mass 44 sell off this year. If you ain't here or you ain't planning to make no no plans to come home, you better start making plans. Get on them straight flights, get to lay it, you know, work out some kind of deal, call Carnival office. So they could do it if they could talk to the airline office to get you to sing it because this year Carnival is gonna be mad, mad, mad. It's all about sugar mass for the four and the soccer artists them we here to take over. So who 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 did the production and the blood song in terms of the music and the writing? 
Well, the production and the blood song, let me start with the writing first. The writing was done by myself and Jazik. You know, out of Nevis, the production is all jazzy, music is all jazzy, you know, the moisture, that's why they call him the moisture. And those of you who ain't too familiarize with jazzy, he's the owner and band leader for Greenhouse Band out of Nevis, the most famous, you know, band on this side of the Caribbean, you know, so trust me. And I'm glad that I decided to work with him, you know, because he's a legend by himself, you know, he's been all over doing work in Jamaica, all over the, the place, you know, jazzy can man reach all over Europe you know doing stuff for for different musicians all over the globe so it was my pleasure you know to work with this guy you know to produce such a extreme song for me and I, I love it i mean first when i started doing it i was like ah, one day this is gonna be hitting and whatever and when he sent me back they, they work i was like wow you know and i have some people i mean my friend good friend richard berridge he was one behind me pushing this song and right now his wife to cost me even his son to meet me and cost me they said, boy, everything in the house, you f my dad the play the song over and over, my husband playing the song over and over, I can't get to sleep. And I feel good, you know, even on the radio. I don't listen to radio much because, you know, how they're working and stuff like that. But everybody been telling me, boy, your song just play, I just hear your song again and again and again. And I feel good, you know, I feel good. But moreover, I'm really pleased with, you know, the work that we're doing and, and the other artists and stuff like that. And I'm sure I got more inside of me to come, you know. What about the recording of, of the Blood single? The recording? Well, you record in the same place, Jazzy, um, or Nevis by Jazzy, yeah, in the studio again. Yeah, I tell you, the man is a moisture. You know, I gotta tip my hat to Jazzy. Yeah, you're the man, Jazzy. You is the man, you know. Blood! <laughs> the check. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So, you will be putting out other singles for the Sugar Mass 44? Yeah, of course, man. I got. I, well, I, I was hoping to drop four songs in total this year. But the same as though I only could make it to to doing three. You know, two already ready, you know, I got me I got my power call charge. You know, that they're gonna come they're gonna release soon. Um you know, I just give you a preview of the children song, you know, the one for the children ju, ju, the children parade, you know, that that again they're gonna release probably maybe tomorrow, who knows? You know, and they, I, I did one on the stickle drum but apparently the beat, they said the beat close up. So, you know, I'm just saying if Rinch, when you look at this, I've got to come and drop it still, trust me. I mean, you're going to love this one. The one with the call, Freaky Girl. But, you know, I just still got to wait and see what them guys say about that. But I was hoping to drop four. But if not, it's going to be three. So look out for Carnival Fet, that's the children, that's the one for Children Parade. And Charge, that's the one for the Power Soaker. I've seen you, well, growing up, I've seen you host many different events. Is hosting a passion of yours how, how did you get into the whole hosting vibes yeah man hosting is a big 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 apart from you know i mean singing and cutting here hosting is a big passion of mine just i love i love being on stage with a mic in my hand and like you know making people feel happy you know introducing people to the stage and you know just 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 helping the whole art farm you know is is it's a part of me from the time you put a mic in my hand like i just go crazy I just like to be on stage in front of like thousands of people, hundreds of people, I don't know. I don't get fearful. I've never been fearful coming out on stage, you know what I mean, looking at people. I like to interact with people, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm not a guy of, of, I must put it, English, but when I go out, I try my best to speak proper and do the right things and make people laugh and stuff like that. But I love hosting. It's just a part of me and I could never get it out of me. I mean, I'm looking forward this year hosting some stuff for, for Carnival, but since I'm in the Soka Manak, I guess I might got to wait until after the Soka Manak to get into the, the hosting aspect of it. I've already been to the Carnival um, host and MC seminar they had a couple of weeks back. So I'm, I'm there to, to host a couple of events too, but you gotta come like after the, the finals of the, the, the Soka Mana competition. And you know I'm gonna be there in the finals in both category, Groovy and Power. Blood charge! <laughs> so very confident. Or you could say that. Well, from the tent and the, and the, and the response you get from the the audience, you know, the crowd and the people and, you know, people being telling you about the ear player, your song on the radio, you know, well, and I know how I perform, I mean, last year I wasn't too much into it because, you know, I had a lot of problems with the carnival committee because in certain stuff they were doing, I didn't, to, to please and stuff like that, so, you know, I just wasn't fair, but this year, trust me, this year, if you see me start my music, so early went all out to get these kind of people to work with me and my music, they must understand I'm very serious this year about my music and going straight 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 to the finals and even 
placing in the top three in both category in the finals. I like that. I like the confidence. I like that. Well, I'm, I'm back in uh, the, the blood song, you know, because I like that. Mm, with myself, I don't drink occasionally. So, that's part of the game. Let's, let me ask you. Give me your take. Well, not let me say give me your take. <coughs> but there, there, there seems to be a little riffraff in this whole soca tent. Um, the hosting of it and with the, the band versus the artist and the DJ and what's not. Um, you being in the tent, what is your whole understanding as well as view on such issue? Many out there might not know, but we being in the business, we heard about it. Well, my, my view on the whole um, soca tent with um, the, the, the back analyst crew, the band that was backing the, 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 the artist, for the tents, you know, and you know, they, they, they decide to, to quit because they had a partner with Carnival Committee. I mean, I don't know where, honestly, I, I don't really want to get into the problem with, with the hat, but my thing is, I don't think they should have quit. I mean, they should have continued to fought where you got to fought with the Carnival Committee. But if you if you love soca music, as you claim you love soca music, then just play. As long as Carnival Committee paying you to, to be the band for soca and to practice the artist, just play. Just play. Whatever else you and Carnival Committee got to talk about, talk about I mean, you're you already getting the, the stems and the songs from the artists. I mean, you, you was there at the last tent, you had about over maybe 18, 20 something artists there, you know, ready to perform and did perform. So just stuff it all, let's go. It's all about music, it's all about the industry. I mean, if you love it, sometimes we don't got to, sometimes we ain't supposed to make things all about money and make things all about ourselves. You know, because sometimes I host events and the money ain't good. And, the, and I, I work because it's Carnival. I work with Carnival because Carnival is about saying this thing. Carnival isn't about any individual. Carnival is about the whole of saying it's a Nevis and the Caribbean person who coming home to enjoy Carnival. Carnival is not about me, nah, you, nah, nobody. So I think we are supposed to work and put it in, uh, in our best interest to put out a good production, a carnival, and, and stop studying about how much money I stand to make after this, or who making us look like fool and whatever. We're supposed to try and work together, you know, and try to make it, you know, as good a production or good a product as, as ever, you know what I mean, and, and put things behind us. But what, you know, so, yeah, it, it's done. I mean, they, they quit, and we have a new band now, so I would just like you know, the other artists to come. Let's work with the new band. I mean, if the new band in playing right up uh, you know i mean practice right then we could go to the canvas and say, look we ain't you know we ain't like the new band i mean try to see if we could work out things with back and all this crew and see if, see if we get them to come back change their mind and, and then we go forward again from there all about the professionals and i mean sometimes you don't even to one practice i don't even keep it on no more because you know me you put a mic in me and i down the road as long as the band got good musician i'm down the road ready to go i will make the band look good they ain't got to make me look good i will make the band look good with my performance so that's me if I'm standing by where the best be. And you know, I just want to take this time now to big up my sponsors. I want to big up Patriots, you know, Saint Kiss Patriots, Richard Berry and the crew. And I want to big up, you know, so carry brewery, you know, so carry pills in the light, 74 calories. Look, if you're not accustomed, if you've been drinking beers and you know your belly getting big like mine and stuff like that, just try the pills in the light, you're gonna like it. It's only 74 calories, especially for the ladies and guys, you know, getting big tummy. Try it, trust me. And once you've been following the tent, you realize every time a performer always got pills not giving away. So check out Peace of Man Bikawa. It's all about blood, blood in your alcohol. Feel me? Nice, nice, nice. So how, how did you, you as a, being a soccer artist, how did you acquire these sponsors? Well, I did work for these sponsors before. Like when they're doing like, um, like I do promotional work for these sponsors. Like when they're going out on the road, and they need a guy to promote the product and stuff like that, you know. They call Peace Man, they call, you know. Seems like some other people don't feel like Peace Man is a man that uh, get things done, you know. I get your product out there for you. Same thing with Cricket, you know. I was the guy behind the, 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 the mic there at the Cricket in the stadium, you know, getting everybody involved, making the same thing, win all those games, because I get the crowd involved. We got this! You know, say 869 Patriots, let's go, you know. I was the guy behind the mic there at, the, at Warner Park Stadium, so. You know, doing that for, for saying his patriots, you know, they, they probably feel like, you know, this guy is a good guy, so let's get behind him for carnival. The same thing with Carrie Brewery. You know, I'm always there for Carrie Brewery, so let's get behind this guy for and help to push him, you know. Yeah, the more we push him, the more he's going to push us, and, and that's it. 
You know what I mean? The sponsors them push you, you push the sponsors. And that's how it's supposed to be. You know, one hand can't clap, you know. We need both hands, you know, to go forward. And I just want everybody, man, come on, partnership with Carnival. Let me forget about the, the nitty gritty and the ray ray and stuff. And let me make this Sugar Mass 44 the biggest carnival ever. I mean, with the songs we got right now. My good friend say, I can't wait. You know, Nietzsche B. Let's come on, let, let's get this thing. I mean, the man got songs can done. I mean, check it out. Mr. Bagnall, all them guys, you know what I mean? Matt Stoney. I mean, I mean, you, you, you know all of them. I mean, your brother produced one of the best rhythm in sync is in a long time. You know, Rinch and all them guys. I mean, look, we got mad talent and we can't allow no one person to make us don't reach far. So let's all us get together and just make this happen. Make it happen. Now we just got a big sugar mass 44 and go out there. Who win, win, win. But at the end of the day, it's going to be all about Sink is Nevis Carnival, Sugar Mass 44, and the soccer artists, and the Calypsos, and the Queens. Let's make uh, everything spectacular, everything great. Let's try to go out there and give it the number one, the best, and stop this lot of bickering, bickering, who rang and she said, and he said, let's done with that. Let's try to work with the carnival. And when they make a mistake, then we could just, we could, we could bang them and then try to, instead of not just beat them up and cuss them, let me try to see if we could help to fix the problem and make this carnival bigger and better and me peace man i'm behind the carnival committee and the chairman 150 percent i don't care who vexed me but carnival is me so i got to support the chairman if you do something wrong yes i'm gonna cuss him but i also come up with a solution so let's let's try it this way i'm not gonna try to work with whatever he put forward to make it better but it's just not all about money money gonna come two years from now three years from now and, and, and an artist let me try to push myself and instead of we trying to let Carnival help us to look good, let me make Carnival look good. And that's all I got to say. From the mode shop, it's all about blood. Bigging up the man in the mode shop, you know, so the, the camera crew. My good friend here, Stickle. You know, both of us have SP, so we could chat. I could stay here and go on and on all day, you know. So, but, you know, I can't. And I got other stuff to do, you know. But you see my face again, because I'm coming back to... The madam says she want a short, so I'll come back to you and get a short, so you get a meter too. But all I gotta say is that, you know, happy carnival to everybody. And the most happy the place to be come get your, 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 your hats, your shorts. Make sure you get a short, it's a real kitty shot. And if you're from SP, where the best be, come get your shorts, them normal. Me don't go out kind of SP shot. Get your shorts, them mark, hubba, 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 hubba. And the, the last thing I gotta say, drink, but drink responsibly. No, you can't say that the last thing. Come, we got other things about ask you. We got a lot of things about ask you, please. About we talk, we talking, we talking. Okay. Yeah, you've been around the soccer monarch, but not be from from the beginning of the soccer monarch. Well, actually, I hosted one of the four soccer monarch tent um, when they had when they started back up. I think they just had it long time. When they started, like a couple of years back, and they had it on the the bus terminal. I was like the first host to to actually start. So I've been there from the like inception yeah you know but what's what's your take on the way the whole soccer monarch has evolved over the years well to me right now this year is is the year when we have some of the better songs and just and to have a soccer tent i've always dreamed about you know what i mean performing in a tent before whatever going up and down the place performing in tent let everybody get to know your song get to know the artist I mean, this year, I mean, it start with a with a bang, with a wow, and I like I like it. What I would like to see though is that at the finals, and we get more space. So if you want to bump the jump, if you want to come in with a crane truck, if you want to come from a helicopter, you know, you got more space to do a better production of your your song. Because that's what I would like to see at the final. But for now, you know, the the the, the, so, the soccer art farming saying it's it's really big, and I'm glad that a lot of young artists. I mean. Right now we got about 50 something soccer artists registered. So you could see how big this art farm is and it's and it's and it's getting even larger and larger. And I mean, it's anticipating it's an it's anticipated that soccer man art this year gonna have the biggest, biggest show. And I'm looking forward to, to, to see that and be a part of that also. Nice, nice. Definitely. I will be attending the finals. Let's let's we, we don't touch on so much different topics, but we're still going, we're still going. How is your preparation going for the so coming out finals? 
Well, my preparation is going good. As I, say, I, mean, I ain't got to study about that. I have a team dealing with the production for me. So I'm, I'm so thankful that all I'm, they tell me all I'm there to do is to just sing. They're dealing with everything else. God, they don't say I'm in the final, so they don't, they're already starting stuff like, you know, clothing, um, dancers, this, that, you know. I even have, like, girls meeting me and telling me, look, we want to come and dance with you. We like your song and, you know, we feel your energy. They want to be a part of my team. You know, I put them on to, you know, my people. Like, I got production, my sponsors behind me to support me in whatever I need for the finals. Because they, even the sponsors are going finals with the songs. They said the quality of my songs, I'm in the finals. So I'm there. So I ain't got to worry about what I'm going to do for finals. My production team taking care of that already, you know. They have idea, you know. I have my cousin there, Brandon. You know, he part of my production team. He don't tell me, man, I got idea for you to do whatever. So I ain't got to worry. I'm leaving, I'm leaving it up to them guys, you know what I'm saying. Big up Toby Cranston again. I'm leaving up to, she can take care of the dancers. She got your routine. So all I got to do is to perform in the tent. And perform where else they're dealing with that. They got the hard work to deal with. They ain't got to do with that. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Is there anything else in Sugar Mass 44 apart from um, the so coming out? Singing, uh, participation. Is there anything else you will be participating in? Well, look, look out for me and Children Parade. As, as I said earlier, I just did this brand new, you know, soccer track for Children Parade, you know, children friendly. So look out for it, look out for it. And um, the, the committee members, I sent this song to them already, they love it. Um, they actually want to push that for the Children Parade. So they want me to be on the road for Children Parade. So I will be on the road live, not with a live band, I you know, on a big up impulse band. They're going to be and Juve with me also. Yeah, I'm all, well, we're doing a Juve Troop also, so you can look up for me and Barry Cranston. We're doing a big Juve Troop, you know, called Beach Bums. We're bringing the beach party to the road, you know what I'm saying? It's something fresh, you know, so if you want to be a part of that, you can just check me out, come to Barry's Barn Grill, check Lydia Cranston, anyone in the Cranston family, and, and, and you know, sign up, check, check Brandon Cranston, you know. It's all about Barry's Barn Grill and Fantastic Fusion joining together to farm this big troop, you know. Ross University, you know them students, them on the island, all them going to be there. We have two sections, we have a VIP section and a regular section. And it's all about no t-shirt, like swimwear, bathing chunks, the whole works, you know. You look beachish, it's like a beach line on the road for Juve. We have our own sound, we have a young band with us, Impulse Band. So you can look forward to a piece of my performing the song, them live on Juve. Barry Cranston going to be performing the song. We have DJ Gallis going to be there, you know, the whole works. So, you know, it's going to be spectacular so if you want to be a part of it just come on out and link with us yeah nice 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 and i know in the past i've seen you with extreme you were the big guy behind the whole extreme juve to with rascal um, what, 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 what happened to that what happened to that well you know extreme is the rascal is Ras rascal is my friend and will always be my friend, you know, he will always be my friend. But you know, sometimes, sometimes you have to to, to move on to do your own your own stuff. You know, sometimes because something you with something you deal with people and like you have ideas, but your ideas get shadowed. You know, because you know, is extreme is running rascal. Extreme is not peace, man. Nah, you, nah, nobody. Extreme is is running. That's his thing. And I'm I'm grateful that I was given the opportunity to be a part of Extreme and with running rascal. But, you know, it's about time that a piece of man branch up and put his idea out there, you know, with other people who recognize, you know, my stuff and whatever. So, but extreme, when he's, when he's, when he go call me anytime to do anything, that's my friend, my buddy, my drinking partner, you know, we always drink the black coffee when, when we, when, when, you know, you know, you know, we roll, you know, we roll. But, you know, it's about time that piece of man start, you know what I mean, doing stuff, you know, and, and getting piece of man name out there, you know, running name out there, you know, I got to start to build piece of man. So that's what I'm all about this year, you know, partnership with Barry, you know, and we do, we, we troop along with the Cranston family and we, we coming down Juve. So just look out for piece of man, Juve morning, fantastic fusion, Barry's barn grill and we, we, we did it. As we say, you know, it's all about blood, it's all about charge, you know, it's all about, you know, children fed. So the sugar mass mash up. Okay. What's peace of man message to, to the kids I'm out there who's gonna watch this interview? Uh, who might have heard your song Blood with the Alcohol. You know, some people take alcohol in the wrong conception and say, oh, they just like drink. 
Right, but what, what, what's your message to them, to the youths? Well, for the youths out there, I know, I know some of the youths, I'm going to see people drinking all the time. Um, trust me, sometimes drinking is good, most time it's bad. Kids don't come up thinking about drinking. Study your lesson, come up thinking about getting your education and getting yourself something good in life to do. It's not all about maybe being a lawyer or a doctor. You could do something, you could do a trade work, you could be a mercenary and everything, but make sure you go to school, study your lesson. Don't do drugs, don't drink as much. You know, just study your lesson and stay focused. Stay as far away as crime as possible. And please talk to your peers and enjoy the carnival. Tell mommy you want to join children parade because this year children parade is going to be clean. No Quelbe music, you know, you got a lot of children sang around, just my song. So, you know, just stay focused. Children stay on the part, on the real part. Make your mom and dad proud. Go to school, learn your lesson. Step far away from crime. Talk to your peers. If you see one of your friends doing something wrong, don't be afraid to tell him that's wrong. He might be mad at you, but still tell him that's wrong. But just stay focused, make your mom and dad proud, and stay away from drugs and crime. Nice, nice, nice. So, you're gonna give us a little piece of the blood song and give us an acapella? Or what? You got too much blood! Hold on, hold on. Now why you hold the mic? Now why you give them the, the vibes the way they're bringing the soca tent? Why you show the people? Ah! Oh, doctor went over to the freezer. Give me two carib and tequila. Him said drink up, but it's a healer. Carib you is a dealer. Take the description. Get rum in your hand. The ducky tell me again. You got too much blood. 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 In your alcohol. What wrong with you, boy? Way too much blood, blood, blood in your alcohol. What wrong with you, boy? You got too much blood, blood, blood in your alcohol. What are you gonna do about that? Tell me. Carnival, I go drink. From the mud shop, we go drink. Wine pan girl, we go drink. In the band, we go drink. So come on, we go drink. And everybody go drink. We go drink. We go drink. We go drink, 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 drink. You come drink with me. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Definitely one of the, the, the big hits or the growing hits of the Sugar Bars 44. Uh, uh, definitely. So is, is, is there anything else you want to tell the fans out there before we depart? Yeah, I just want to tell the fans that, you know, say tomorrow, if this is, if this is out and, and uh, I must put it on social media by tonight, I just want to tell the fans tomorrow is the bar crawl, that's Saturday, so check it out. And next week, yes, next week, Friday, I know it's going to be out on social media. Next week, Friday, the Soka Tent moves to Nevis, so please after work line we all heading nevis for the soca tent so most of the soca artists we're gonna be there in nevis so nevis massive look out for the soca tent live and lively right there in nevis just check it out you're gonna be live and lively nature be the whole crew piece of man mr bagnall sugar ball can he release today so you know a problems everything gonna be over there and we're gonna turn this year inside out it's all about saying it's nevis sugar mass 44 Blood! remember link up Nice, nice, nice. Well, Mr. Peace, man, I want to thank you for coming to live from the merch shop. It's been a pleasure. And I, I, I like, I like you bravely, like you saw me and you come and say, yo, I want to come on the show. You know, I, I, li I like that. You, say, you saw the show, how you feel, you should have been here. And we definitely had a nice chat with you today. So thank you for coming. I just want to say thanks to the fans I'm out there as well for being sending their greetings to the show. I've been sharing it with the crew, because it's not me alone. The guys behind the camera, we also have the management. So thank, thanks to all the viewers out there for being saying they like the show and keep supporting, keep sharing, keep critiquing, we welcome it. This is your boy I2IC, alongside Peace of Man, signing out. One love, peace, don't forget, don't put too much blood in your alcohol. <laughs>